It's windy outside. Pretty chilly. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this guy right here, uh, Omniscent by Yosh. Now Yosh is a house that I've talked a lot about. I really like Yosh's perspective. They have a lot of great fragrances. Most of their line is either feminine or unisex with a couple of really great masculine scents. This falls under their kind of a unisex land, I think. And if you notice here, there's a little number, uh, 0.96, and apparently that has something to do with chakras or energy. I don't really know, but this is just a really nice scent. Now, technically, this isn't really a photorealistic amber. It is amber in kind of the general sense. I think some people might even consider it kind of a floral scent or maybe an oriental or a uh, uh, even an incense scent in some ways. It has all of those parts mixed in, but I wanted to put this in here because I think it is an amber in the broad sense, and it's a very interesting take on it. Omniscient, I think, is a clever wordplay upon the word omniscient. And I say I think because it's not stated anywhere. It's not stated on Fragranica, on Yosha's website, anywhere. So I wonder if this is supposed to be kind of multiple genres of a scent, kind of omniscient, or if it is what I'm perceiving it to be, um, omniscient, which is kind of a spiritual version of a scent. And that makes a lot of sense to me because there are a lot of different types of ingredients in here that remind me kind of the spiritual type of vibes. There is kind of an incense type of vibe here. There's a cannabis note in here. Of course, it is kind of generally an amber scent, which I've always thought is kind of a spiritual type of note here. And there's lots of florals in here too, but it is spiritual and mysterious and magical. So that does kind of lead me to think that it does mean a play on words of omniscient. Now, as for the way this smells, it's kind of a very syrupy, sweet floral scent, tainted with a hippie incense and cannabis note that shifts between classical and romantic, clean and dirty, spiritual and profane, um, and a lot of the best ways. I really like how uh, contrasty this scent is. And in some ways too, it's ambiguous. I don't really know how, exactly how to describe it. And maybe that's the best way to describe it. I'd have to almost be all knowing to really describe it in the fullest way possible. It's a great scent, clean, ambery, floral. It's bizarre yet familiar. So I don't exactly know the best way to describe this scent, but I think it's great. It's a great floral amber scent with a lot of eccentricity. It's really cool. Let's go check it out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.